All of you have tried something at some point or another. You've gone on diets, you've gone on things. But detoxification, that would be a first step. You've got to clear out your gut, what we call cleaning up your house. If you have a Ferrari and you have great fuel in it, but the pistons are all gunked up, is the car going to work? No. It's not going to be able to absorb. So you've got to clean out your gut, clean out your colon, clean out your bowels, so that you can actually absorb the nutrients and produce the hormones that your gut produces. Right? Proper nutrition. Learning what that means. That means not just what you're putting in, but when and how you combine them. How you combine food. Fitness, hormones, the nervous system. Have you ever done a program that incorporates all of these things? Because if all you if you need all those things for proper health, right, to treat your whole person, which one of these elements do you want taken out? Hopefully you said 94% of all failure is due to not having a system. Some people go on regimens, right? Regimen like I'm on Weight Watchers, I'm doing a regimen, I count my calories, I, I pick out my portions, I do the regimen, right? As soon as you stop doing the regimen, your results go away. You have a system, step by step. Even if you were to go off that system, you can always go back to it. It's a system. And it's really simple to follow. So we like to treat the whole person. Now, I'm up here teaching you in a way, I'm telling you things. I'm trying to involve you so that you can be involved in what I'm teaching you. I'm showing you on the screen, but I'm also trying to involve you so you can understand what I'm saying. So, if you can understand, if you're going to be involved, you can understand the conversation. This is a Chinese proverb. <laughs> I love this slide because this is, you know, this is when you're young. You look cute and fluffy next to the beer, right? But when you get older, it's not so pretty. The result is not quite optimal, right? Who wants to be sitting next to that guy watching TV? So can you predict the future of your health? Yes, you can. And again, I, I asked you at the beginning of the talk if it was OK with you if I shared some things that might get you thinking a little bit different. And the idea is so that, yes, you can predict your health, because you're in control of it now. You're not relying on a doctor or insurance company to say, oh yeah, that test you're allowed to have, and that test you can't have, right? How many times have you done that? This test is not approved. This procedure is not approved, right? You can be in control of your health. Order the correct tests. It's the first thing to do, right? We determine the true underlying causes of what's going on. We look at the precursors to the precursors, right? So that we're not just looking at the result on a scale that is a bell curve of average in the US. We're looking at optimal levels. We focus on the cause and not the symptoms. Like I said, we don't treat any disease. We treat a whole person. And really, you're the one treating yourself. We correct those dysfunctions, not altering the labs with drugs. Again, I said to you before, if you weren't taking that medication, would your labs show the same result? The drug is pushing down your labs, pushing up your labs. They're the one, that's the one changing your result, not you, not your lifestyle. If you stop taking that drug, your results go back. So we stop altering your labs with drugs, and we start treating you so that the labs change on their own address the body as a whole. Again, we have a systematic approach, right? So our approach is designed to make it easy to follow so that you can do it without me. However, mentoring <coughs> is really important. Who here has ever had a mentor? <coughs> Coach, somebody who you learned from or trained? No? Nobody? No. Some of you? Okay, so about half the room. Right? And do you think that it would be make a lot of sense to work with somebody who's seen the pitfalls so that you can avoid them? Make it easier for you. Yes. Yeah. 
that's what mentors do. They also help keep you accountable to what you say you're going to do for yourself. So we create a personal lifestyle program that starts with a complete wellness evaluation. Okay? What you get in that wellness evaluation is a consultation. So we literally spend a half hour to an hour going over a questionnaire that is more questions than you've probably ever been asked, right? Wellness evaluation. So we go over all of your labs, we go over your conversation with you. What's your history? What's your family history? What do you feel like? What kinds of things do you want to do? What are your goals? You know, we, I mean, everything that has to do with your health. And then we create a plan of action for you. We make it so that it's simple, so that you can do what you want to do. Now go back and remember how much it cost for that seven minutes of a doctor's office? And maybe the value that you got from that? This is the total value. This is what we charge for this consultation. Not that much, is it? It's pretty good value for an hour of hearing some information. Did you get more information this hour than maybe you would have gotten previous 50 years? In some cases, right? Well, good news is that this hour is with you and you alone, and it's on your information. But I'm not charging that. But for people who come to the talks, we don't do the 287. That's only for people who do not come to talk. It's $87. It doesn't cover my time. I mean, truthfully, right? That does not cover my time. So why do I do that? Does anybody know? Care. I'm passionate about it, yeah. I want to take away any excuse you might have. Right? I want to take away any excuse you might have to not do that. Because everybody can afford $87 for an hour of their time to go over stuff that they've never gotten fixed that makes them healthier and feel better. Right? And if you have a family member who would also like to come in, we only do $47 for them. You come in during the same time, but we go over their labs exactly the same as we would go over yours. We just extend the time out, right? Now, if you want to come in and your spouse does not, I still ask you to bring in your spouse because the kind of information that I'm going to be giving you is not information that you can just easily translate to them when you get home. I want them to hear what I have to say, and I want them to hear what you have to say because they're going to be your support system. So there's no charge for them if they don't want to have a consult for themselves, but I still ask that you bring them so that they can get the information the same as you got and they can be there to support you as, as best as possible. And that is really all it is. What we're going to ask you to do is if you're interested in that, we're going to pass out a form that you can sign up for a consultation. We're, I think, booking out two weeks at this point. Uh, which is great because it gives you a chance, if, uh, if you book, to bring in your lab to go find whatever stuff you might have, kind of compile that together, and to fill out the very lengthy questionnaire. That lengthy questionnaire, again, it will take you some time, it'll take you some thought, because it's more questions than you've probably been asked before. But it allows me to have that before you come in, so I can know exactly what is going on with How young? No, the only limit I have is if they're under 18, that they are in with a parent, and no, there's no age limit. So they would consider, that, that would be an extra family member. <coughs> I don't know which labs you take to go get. Um, if you've already had your labs, then bring them in. If you haven't, then um, part of the program that we have is I send you to get labs. And I'll know based on the questionnaire what labs, but I have some pretty standard ones that I want that I do for everybody. And then um, let's say uh, it's a food sensitivity issue, I might order a, a different lab for that, you know, food sensitivity panel or something like that. So you know, we want to be as extensive as possible, but there are some that this is like basic everybody gets. And then after during the console, it becomes a um, more individualized program. Well, okay, so none of the, yeah, the questions were, and again, you can answer that, I'll answer that for you, it's a great question, and 
the programs that we put together labs are included in them, so that you don't have to worry about it. So. And a lot of them are lower than you can get anywhere else. We have people that yeah. look at them like, really? I mean, it's, it's Well, it's yeah. just a basic lab. If you go and your insurance company pays for a basic lab, right? It's what, about $800 for an insurance company is paying, and then whatever your co pays, right? So I'll give you an example. Uh, one of my labs, I don't charge anything above what the lab charges. It's 50 different tests that normally it was about $1,200, and it cost me, I think, $100 for that lab. So it, it makes it really simple for me to be able to do that for people because I want more testing than they're going to get, than, they, than you're going to have from your doctor. And most of the time, even if your doctor would approve, or your insurance would approve the tests, you have to get your doctor to approve them, and then your insurance company to approve them. And it's just a lot easier in most cases for me to order the test. So that's what it looks like. I, I created this. My wife doesn't quite like the, the image, uh, but what I what I, I like thought the was image is the text. The, the text. Picture. She doesn't like the text. <laughs> I was thinking when I made it that I was creating a bridge. Chief Health was creating a bridge for your health. Yeah. But yeah. just a, a problem. I, like I thought it right it. away. I like it. So if you have, yeah, if you're interested, please fill out one of the forms and, and give that to my wife. I'll be available in the back. Uh, your dinner is about to be served, so please, please enjoy your dinner, and uh, I'll be available for any questions.